Hi, my name is Chris Gregg. I am the Associate Chair for Education for the CS Department at Stanford. I was uh, an electrical engineer as an undergraduate. My grandfather was actually an electrical engineer. He showed me uh, the first computer I'd ever seen. I actually asked him uh, if there were any computer chips in it and he said, let's find out. And we got out the screwdriver and we opened it up and uh, that uh, began my love for engineering and for electrical engineering uh, and computers. And when I graduated from college, I decided to join the Navy. Uh, and then I did that for about seven years as a cryptologic officer. I, I, they, the Navy promised they'd show me the world, and they did. I got to live in Australia and go on lots of ships. And then when I was finished with the Navy, I decided, you know, I really loved uh, my high school physics class when I, took high, when I was in high school. And I went and uh, got an education degree and learned how to be a teacher and taught high school physics for about seven years or so and then decided to go back get my PhD in computer engineering, uh, knowing that I wanted to continue teaching. And one thing led to another after that, and I ended up at Stanford teaching as a lecturer, and I'm in my eighth year at Stanford now. The Associate Chair for Education uh, manages the lecturers. We have about 10 different lecturers uh, at, uh, in the CS department, and I manage all of the uh, other teaching uh, duties that people have, the faculty and uh, the courses that, that we have. I, I serve as the chair of the curriculum committee and any teaching related question goes to me first in the department. I've actually been doing the role in an acting capacity for about a year or so, uh, but my priorities remain that uh, we do the best job teaching that we can in the department. Uh, our classes are, are large. We have some classes that are over 500, 600 students. And making sure that the professors are resourced with TAs and other resources uh, makes, it, uh, makes it one of my top priorities. We need to think very critically about how we're going to use AI for education and in education. And then, as I said, how we're going to have our students teach our students how to use AI effectively going out as they leave the, leave the school. Uh, the best piece of advice I got when I was a student was one of a professor when I was a when I first started out in college uh, told me he said look if you start to find yourself getting behind or not keeping up with the material make sure you reach out uh, to the professor as soon as possible. The last thing you want to do is wait until the week before class ends to say, oh, I'm behind. Uh, the earlier you can, you can figure that out, the better. But obviously, Stanford's role <clears throat> is to educate students and to send them out in the world. And I like to think that, that Stanford's mission is to send people who know how to think critically about the big problems that are in the world and how to solve them. And, uh, you know, it's a very privileged place to be a student at, at Stanford and knowing that, that you've been given a great education and that you can help the world by uh, using that education to, uh, to make the world a better place is something I think is, is critical to Stanford's mission. So here's what I'd like to, to share with the world. I, I love being at Stanford. It's an incredible place to, to work. It's, I can't imagine a better job than uh, teaching. I've, I've loved doing it for over 20 years and uh, this is an amazing place to be a teacher. Uh, and to, to be surrounded by people that, uh, that, that love education.